In this video, I'm going to share with you 10 things that empaths can do to cause narcissists to lose their minds. So be sure you stick around till the end of the video because this one will be a game changer for you. Let's dive in. Tammy M. Joyce here, Empowerment Life Coach, creator of the Freedom Class and the Ascension Class. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please take a second to say hello and introduce yourself in the comments section below. And if you're back, welcome back. Thanks for showing up and for tuning in. Either way, please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos throughout the week. So let's talk about 10 things that empaths can do to cause narcissists to lose their minds. But first, a disclaimer. What I'm about to share with you applies to those of you who are dealing with your garden variety destructive narcissist. In other words, the toxic, the manipulative, the lying, the deceiving, the emotionally and psychologically abusive, not the violent, not the dangerous. Okay. Big difference. Not the psychopaths, not the sociopaths and not the otherwise antisocial and personality dis disordered individuals who are likely to erupt violently and cause you or others who may be vulnerable physical harm or any sort of damage. All right. If that is you, please seek help from your local authorities or other appropriate professionals and do whatever you need to do to keep yourself and the vulnerable in your care protected and safe, okay? So once again, what I'm about to share with you is meant for those of you who are dealing with your garden variety destructive narcissist, not the animal who is likely to cause anybody or anything, anyone, any sentient being, physical harm. With that said, let's talk about 10 things that empaths can do to cause narcissists to lose their ever loving minds. Number one, refusing to engage or fight back. Narcissists need intensity, chaos, drama, and a target, someone to project all of their deeply buried self-loathing, guilt, and shame onto, right? When you refuse to engage, when you refuse to fight back, when all of their chaos, drama, criticism, verbal attacks, projections of all of their, again, deeply buried, subconscious, self-loathing, shame, guilt, all of that, right? When that's coming at you, and all of it is met with complete flatline, non-emotion, non-reactivity, a complete blank stare. Their stuff has nowhere to land, right? They have nowhere to project all of that garbage onto, therefore they can't unburden themselves, which is typically what's really going on, right? They need to unburden themselves from the load they carry subconsciously, predominantly, onto a chosen target, onto someone else. So when you refuse to get into the ring with them, to, to roll around in the mud with them, when you refuse to engage or fight back, that shit's coming at you, has nowhere to land and tends to land somewhere over there instead. And all of a sudden the narcissists realize they are powerless over you. And nothing will drive a narcissist crazy. Nothing will cause a narcissist to lose their mind faster than realizing they are powerless over you. Powerless to manipulate you, powerless to affect you, powerless to control you, powerless. Number two, demonstrating that you don't care. Not just with words, but with action, behavior, and every choice you make. When you show a narcissist that their opinion has zero sway over you, 
that their antics, control dramas, power dynamics, toxic gossip, loyalty conflicts they're busy creating, perceptions they're busy trying to manipulate and control, all the nonsense that they got going on. Can you imagine going through life like that? Uh, in any event, when you show them that you couldn't care less, you're completely unaffected, not the slightest bit interested or bothered in any way, that kind of blows their mind a little, maybe a lot. Because the truth is, they don't know what to do with that. When you're busy living your life, better yet, living a good life, really happy, productive, thriving, feeling good, doing well, doing you, boo, just doing your thing, minding your own business, and the narcissist can see that you're not the least bit interested in or curious about them, what they've got going on, what they're going through, what they've been through, any other nonsense has zero pull, zero sway, zero effect. You couldn't care less. That causes a narcissist to lose their mind. Number three, putting them on the spot in front of others, either by exposing their lies, their exaggerations, their shortcomings, or their incompetence, like highlighting where they may have dropped the ball or fallen short, or ask them a direct question in front of others that they can't legitimately answer without risking exposing and embarrassing themselves. Number four, invalidate their feelings and experience. You know, just like they do to you on the regular, except that in this case, you're for real. You're not just making stuff up to be deliberately misleading and hurtful like they do. You're simply not buying their bullshit or their sad story, nor are you allowing them to emotionally manipulate you or otherwise exploit you, right? You're not buying their lies. You're not buying their games. You're not buying into the BS. And a good way to communicate this to a narcissist is simply by giving the person that they are either gossiping about or complaining about or somehow maligning their favorite thing to do all the live long day, right? Give that person the benefit of the doubt in front of them. Surely there must be more to this story than what I'm hearing sort of attitude. Stops them dead in their tracks and blows their ever loving mind. Number five, treat them with contempt and disdain. Narcissists are infamous for looking down their noses and treating others with unwarranted and unprovoked contempt and disdain. Judging, criticizing, diminishing, demeaning. Give them a taste of their own medicine. What? You don't think they're the bee's knees? It completely turns the tables on them. And yep, you guessed it, causes them to lose their mind. Now comment below and let me know whether or not you will be using any of these strategies to give a little something back to the destructive narcissist that is annoying the hell out of you in your life. And if you would like to learn more about the possibility of working with me in my eight week transformational coaching program, the freedom class, there is a link in the description below where you can apply to see if you qualify for a free one on one consultation with either myself or a member of my team. Number six, not taking them seriously. In other words, not taking their grandiose stories and all the virtue signaling that they do all the time seriously at all. Instead, chuckle or give them the you can't be serious look. In particular, when they're in the process of embellishing and laying it on real thick. Watch what happens. Number seven, being brutally honest. Narcissists are highly manipulative and have a very fragile sense of self. 
When you stop telling them what they want to hear and instead start telling them what they need to hear or what no one else has the courage to say to them, when you hit them right between the eyes with the cold, hard truth, in particular, when they've backed themselves into a corner, boom, their head explodes. Number eight, you see right through them. When they realize that you see right through them, that you are onto them, that they are plexiglass to you, when they know that you know just how fragile, inadequate, and inferior they actually are, when they know that you know how fragile their ego is, how fragile their false sense of self is, how fragile, inadequate, and inferior that fake, phony facade really is, it's game over for the narcissist. Number nine, ignoring them, not giving them any attention, zero, nada, not returning their phone calls, not responding to their texts, not replying to their emails, nothing, absolute radio silence. This is how you starve a narcissist to death and drive them batty in the process. Number 10, giving up on them and walking away entirely and for good. This is not a negotiation. This is not a game. Complete detachment on all levels. Complete disinterest on all levels. Complete and utter ambivalence. I couldn't care less. You are dead to me now. Fully. No attention, no energy, no care, no concern. No narcissistic supply, which boils down to no contact. My friends, I hope you got some value out of this today. If you liked what you heard, be sure to give me a like, drop a comment, and let me know what your biggest takeaway was. And once again, if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos for uh, throughout the week. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, we do have some spots available in the calendar this week for the free one-to-one -one consult with either myself or a member of my team for the Freedom Class program. So if that's of interest to you, be sure to check out the link in the description below where you can apply to see if you qualify for a free one-on-one consultation with us. And as always, I will leave you with this. Know your value. Know your value and unlock your freedom. See you in the next video. Much love. Bye for now.